We are talking about this church that decided to play Asha a remix in the church for the <laughs> There's going to be a mixture of what I think the Bible would illustrate for this particular thing. And there's going to be a mixture of emotion where I say, I don't like this. And so when, when Rick does, it's Rick. Eh? I'm not saying apply the same criteria for yourself. It's the Rick reality show we do daily Christian commentary videos. But there's also another point I want to illustrate about this particular lady who is in question. This is the same lady. It's the same lady who was doing the bread of, she said she had the bread of life. And when people touch the loaf, it all fall over, whatnot, something like that. It was very weird stuff. And so that's the same church. So I want to give you an example. When they do allegoric stuff, when they when they translate allegoric stuff, they are very terrible at it. When Jesus says, I am the bread of life, he means he is the bread of life, not bread is the bread of life. Ne? So <laughs> now it sounds very simple, but <laughs> can be very confusing. So Jesus, you know, double, double, low. everything, not double, double, low. double, double, low. yes, I know I'm pimpering the song, but double, double, low. and so then they transition to this act where the kids are performing in front of their parents, and so they are singing Asha's song, yay. The song is Asha trying to lure this lady into being in some form of relation with him. I don't know if it is a relationship or just dance or just it's a very weird song it's an old song <laughs> called yay and so they are singing that song if i don't play it here yeah that, that, that's what it is and so now personally i'm not into that personally i'm not into that i'm i'm not interested in that at all personally now i understand people who are so i leave that to them and so if you invited me to a church and that's what i found i'll be very annoyed i'll leave very early as a matter of fact I won't even go in, <laughs> okay? I'm not interested in those things. Me, Ricky, right? So be very clear. Doesn't mean I'm wicked. Doesn't mean I'm against the arts. No, I'm just, I don't like that. Don't want to see people uh, dancing like, I, I'm, no, me. Uh, uh? So, so just so that we are very clear on that point. Is that it's a personal perspective. Personally, if I go to church, if I go to the four corners of the church, I'm expecting the word. That's it. I don't want nothing else. If I want entertainment, I can go to the hall, I can go to the cinema, all that kind of stuff. If I want to see movies, I can go to Netflix. But I'm not on Netflix. Like, there is someone who gave me a thingy for, for, for DSTV so that I can watch DSTV and thing. <laughs> I only go there to watch I'm a Bishop. <laughs> and those Christian shows that you hear me saying here, if I. I don't even log in. The last time I logged in was when I was doing the review for that pastor's want a wife episode. That was the last time. That tells you how badly I am when it comes to entertainment as a whole. I watch YouTube and that's it. So I just wanted to give you that picture because I feel like it is important to determining why I speak of it the way I do. Ne? But at the same time, I've been in churches where they've tried to implement this thing of Christian changing the lyrics of songs, it always turns worldly. Always turns worldly. They, they, the kids don't, because they are there for that entertainment value, they then associate that entertainment value with the worldly one, because you're singing worldly song with Christian lyrics. So basically what you've just done is that you've just reminded them, or you've preached the worldliness in the church. That's all you've done. Okay? Because the, 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 the entertainment aspect of that song it's that song. It's the worldly song. And so, for me, I'm not for that. Don't like that at all. Like, completely. But if you do that, I'll understand and I'll just leave so that you can do you. Okay? But every single place where I've been, where they've done that, the, the kids always turn out worldly. And so, if I went to a church service, this is why I'm addressing it, because there were adults there. There was one church that I once visited here in Joburg. It, uh, the church was amazing. Preaching on point you know sticks to the word but the issue was this <laughs> the issue was this because uh, the son of the pastor was a dancer so they used to have a save in the save in the middle of the service the son and his friends would come and start dancing and i just felt weird i was like what is that what does that have to do with the service do that at your youth service where i'm not gonna be there okay now me being youth doesn't mean i like those things 
who want people dancing, jumping, listening, <laughs> not into that. <laughs> I know I'm a youth. <laughs> I don't like those things completely. Completely, I don't like it. And when I say I don't like it, it's a little bit too much because I was a dancer. <laughs> okay, just so that we are very clear. Okay, I don't know. And so, for me, it always turns worldly. I was very annoyed when I left that service. And then the person asked me, so how was church? I was like, what does she expect me to say? And so she also was very displeased with the dancing, but she liked the church. And I was like, yeah, no, it's fine. But I think that the pastor should just remove the dancing and just leave that for weekly, weekly services. Not Sunday, man. Not Sunday. And so, yeah, I'll tell me what you think. For me personally, I don't like those things. And uh, because I'm a youth, doesn't mean I have to be there, sit there for that. While my spirit is grieved and I'm still, no, I'm not coming to those services. Don't invite me and don't ask me how was church. What do you mean? How was church? Church ought to be. <laughs> church ought to be church. <laughs> it means I, I ought to hear the word and I ought to live there with a perspective of purity of the word. Not how good was that dance move. No, I didn't go there for that. If I wanted to be entertained, switch on TSTV, watch that. Switch on Netflix, watch that. Or something. I could go online and watch people dancing. So if I don't watch people dancing on YouTube, what makes you think I want to go to church to watch people dancing? <laughs> That's my view, personally. Né? So y'all tell me what you guys think. But remember, there might be different people who want to do whatever they want to do. But for me, if I went to a church and I thought the church was very good, I'd ask the pastor about it. Pastor. Do you think that's necessary? I know your daughters are doing that. I know your, your kids are doing that. But do you think that that's beneficial to everybody that's there? Just move that to the, to the youth service so that people who want to see that be there. Not here for entertainment. Here for the word. And so, but that's just a personal perspective maybe. But maybe other people do share that. Yeah, tell me what you think. But remember, it's just Ricky. For me, not interested in hearing an Asha song. I don't want to be reminded of that. Back there, back then. Live back there, back then. Okay? But then when we are down here, let's walk this road. Okay? <laughs> I'll see you on a later. Oh, yeah, I'll be good. Other videos done today, they'll be down in the pink comments. Yeah, I'll be good. Salute.